some mistakes with occasional dresses that are ruining your outfit. Hi, my name is Chi. Let's get right into it. Look to plain. Most of us don't wear occasional dresses that often. And therefore, it's very tempting that you want to play safe and you want to default to something that you are familiar with, a dress like this. Don't get me wrong, this is actually a designer piece and I love the silhouette and the cut. But here's the thing, nothing really stands out about this dress. So this is more like a dress you would wear to after work drinks with your colleagues instead of a special occasion dress. The easiest way to turn this into a special occasion outfit, add a piece of statement jewelry. It doesn't matter if it's necklace or earrings. Besides, get a clutch because clutches are perfect for special occasions. This completely changes the entire look of your outfit. The same dress, but now you look much more ready for a special occasion. If you're petite, make sure you check out my clothing line at petitedressing.com for women under 5'4". Ever since I discovered like petitedressing.com, my style went from this to this. Now I'm in the game, I was on the bench, on the bench. spinning on the back like here I go again. Fabrics doesn't go with the occasion. Fabrics are so overlooked. But fabrics are actually so critical, especially when you're looking for special occasion dresses. To make this video, I tried on a lot of special occasion dresses, and the first thing I noticed is how different fabrics can completely set the different tone for your outfit. If your dress has a pretty high percentage of natural fiber content, such as cotton, linen, rayon, these are typically the fabrics best suitable for daytime occasions or outdoor occasions. If the special occasion you're going to is at nighttime, the best fabrics that can easily fit into those occasions are satin, silk, jacquard, sequin, or velvet. Because silk is a natural fiber, but it also got a very subtle shine to the fabrics. So this can give you that glam feel. If you're going to a nighttime function, you can still wear silk outfits and these can look pretty expensive and they're also very breathable. When it comes to special occasion outfits, jewelry can be really tricky because you don't want to underdress for the occasion, but also you don't want to overdo it. If your dress is like this, it's already making a pretty obvious statement. And therefore, you want to stay away from any statement jewelry, especially not the necklaces, because this looks like your jewelry is competing with your dress, and this can look like you're trying too hard. Instead of a chunky necklace, you can go with a medium-sized earring. This looks more subtle, and the tone goes perfectly with the color of the dress. It's enhancing the dress, instead of competing with it. On the other hand, if your dress looks pretty simple, pretty plain, like this one, then this is a perfect time for you to add a piece of statement jewelry, like the necklace. When you wear a necklace like this, it's already making a pretty big bow statement, and it's taking up a lot of space on your neck. So you don't want to add another piece of statement earrings, because now this looks like there's too much going on in this area. Dress is too tight. Whenever you're looking for special occasion dress, you're gonna come across a ton of options like this. Yes, the body comes silhouette. I'm not against flanking your curves. If you got nice curves and you wanna show it off, that is a beautiful thing. If your top is tight, you typically don't want your bottom to be tight because if it's completely clinging to your body from top to bottom, it's gonna make most people feel self-conscious in it. This is gonna highlight every lump and bump in your body and it's gonna make people notice everything you don't want them to notice. Jewelry and bag don't go together. When you're dressing for a special occasion, both your jewelry and your bag, super important. So you do wanna make sure these two are in harmony with each other. At the very least, you don't want them to be competing with one another. They don't have to be matchy-matchy, you just want them to look they're put together in the same outfit and look consistent. For instance, in this outfit, I am wearing a gold tone pearl necklace. If I go with this bag, this is silver tone and it has a lot of sequins in it. So this can look like it's competing with my necklace. Instead, when I switch to this bag, 
this looks a lot more in harmony with the necklace and because it doesn't have all the sequins this is not taking it away from the gold pearl necklace the beige tone looks a lot more in harmony with the gold tone and also this doesn't have sequins so it doesn't look like too much bling bling going on and taking it away from the necklace sometimes when you are preparing for a special occasion outfit you may have spent a lot of money on the dress or perhaps you invested in a piece of designer jewelry but here are some details which may seem trivial if you don't pay attention to them they can totally ruin your entire outfit for example this dress it has a very deep v neckline so if i am wearing any bra under it including the low cut bra from certain angle or when i am leaning forward this can be showing the tip of the bra this is a type of trivial details you want to be paying attention to because i know myself if i'm out and about if i notice this i would be very self-conscious the entire time and also if your dress is a little tighter it can't possibly be showing your visible panty lines, the VPLs. This is also something you want to avoid. I know sometimes when you are wearing your everyday kind of outfit, you may pay attention to it, or maybe some of us don't care about VPLs. But when you are going to special occasions, these are the times you really want to make a really good impression because you've spent so much money and energy getting ready so you don't want any of those details to ruin your outfit speaking of vpls here is two easiest ways you can get rid of them first of all wear a thong most of the time no matter what color your thong is they are a problem solver they will not be showing especially when you are wearing a dress that's on the tighter side second of all just wear invisible underwear there's a lot of invisible underwear on the market and they're designed so that they will not be showing any panty lines when you are wearing special occasion dresses there are so many options for invisible underwear not all of them work the same i have actually tested different brands some of them work better than others and some of them actually still show the panty lines so make sure you watch this video which invisible underwear actually is invisible 